In this video, we're going to look at the oxidation number for the lead in PB3O4. So this one is a little bit tricky. So first, what we'll do is we'll find the average oxidation number for the lead, for each lead atom here in PB3O4, and then we'll talk about why that's not entirely correct. So let's do that first. We know that in a neutral compound, one that doesn't have a plus or minus sign after it, all the oxidation numbers add up to zero. So all of the oxidation numbers here, they'll equal zero. We don't know what the lead is. That's a transition metal. Let's call that X. Oxygen, that's always minus two with just a few exceptions. So we'll have actually three lead. So three X plus oxygen. Each one is minus two. We have four of them. And we said all of that would equal zero since it's a neutral compound. So three X minus eight equals zero. Add eight to both sides. Three X equals a positive eight. Then we'll divide both sides by three and we'll get X equals eight thirds. And that's kind of weird to think that the oxidation number on each of these lead atoms is a positive eight thirds. We said the oxygen was minus two. This is the average oxidation number for each one of these lead atoms. So let's just write that up here. The average equals, it's a positive eight thirds. Now let's talk about what's really going on here. So PB304, the name for PB304 is lead 2 comma 3 oxide. And that's because it's made up of lead 2 ions and lead 4 ions. And the ratio, that's a 2 to 1 ratio. So we have two of these for every one of these. So if we looked at the total charge, 2 times 2 plus, that's 4 plus. So 4 plus and 4 plus, that's 8 plus. And we have 2 plus 1, 3 atoms. So 8 plus over 3, that's where we get this average oxidation number here. But the individual, two of the atoms will be PB2 plus, one will be PB4 plus. When we look at PB304, it doesn't exist all by itself. It's a formula unit in a larger crystal. And if we look at that, let's take a look at that larger crystal here. This would be part of that larger crystal. We can see that this lead right here, it's bonded to one, two. So these two oxygens. But this one up here is bonded to one, two, three. So they should have different oxidation numbers. So to sum up, PB304, the average oxidation number is positive eight thirds. This is probably what your teachers are asking you to do in a general chemistry context. But there's a little bit more to the story here because PB304 has PB2 plus and PB4 plus ions in the compound. This is Dr. B with the oxidation number for each of the PB atoms here in PB304. Thanks for watching.